It's the video that will make Michael Moore cringe as we take you inside the hospitals of Cuba for a look at what socialized medicine really looks like. Now, much of what you are about to see was originally slated for broadcast on ABC. However, the parts that we're about to show never aired. Michael Moore's latest film, Sicko, has brought new attention to the American health care system. He tries to compare our system to that of Cuba's universal health care, but now new truths are coming to light that show not everything in his film are actually true. Moore promotes the idea of a free universal health care system by bashing our current private system and attacking the insurance and pharmaceutical companies. He presents socialized medicine in a utopian fashion by idealizing the current systems in Fidel Castro's communist Cuba. In the film, he also takes a group of sick Americans, including 9-11 rescue workers, to Cuba to seek medical treatment. But in this new video that Hannity and Combs obtained from inside Cuban hospitals, we are seeing a much different story. It's the story told by real Cuban citizens desperately looking for medical attention. Now, we'd like to warn you, some of the video is disturbing. The video you are seeing right now was taken by a hidden camera and at enormous risk by a Cuban dissident in Cuba's hospitals. These are the hospitals that serve the average Cuban, not the ones featured in Moore's film Sicko. So on the left of your screen is the scene Michael Moore paints for you in his film, and on the right is the scene painted by Cubans actually living the life. The video that we are showing is taken outside of the Miguel Enriquez Hospital. As you can see, there are broken windows, random garments hanging inside in plain sight. You can see filthy conditions in the bathrooms as well as dangerous obstacles such as wood laid over the floor holes so that people won't fall through. In the next video clip, you can see a patient covered in flies. Now, this is just one documented incident, but our source says many of the rooms are full of bugs and roaches and other insects. Michael Moore uses in his film to discredit the American health care system by attacking how insurance and pharmaceutical companies manage the health care in the states. But if you look at this video, you can see that a patient is asking the pharmacist if he has aspirin. The answer is yes, but he is unable to sell them because he doesn't have, quote, envelopes. In Cuba, they sell many of the medicines in small paper envelopes instead of bottles like here in America. So if Cuba's health care system is as good as Michael Moore likes to say it is, why can't patients get the bare necessities such as aspirin? But the most telling difference can be told by the people themselves. So you've seen it for yourself, the other side of the Cuban health care system that Michael Moore didn't care to show you. You've heard from the people who don't get a chance to voice their struggle. And the truth is, what happens inside these hospital walls is anything but Hollywood glamorous. And in many ways, evidence that more sicko is selling more fiction and less fact. We will speak with the Cuban expatriate who obtained this disturbing video coming up.